Looking quite glorious, if I may be so bold. Greetings Laddingtons, this is just a quick video elaborating briefly on the cancel culture and uh, the king culture. Now of course, as all of you know, most of you at least, this channel is the king culture channel. It's all about enlightening others, helping others, helping each other. It's not about desperately clinging to some sort of ideology and attacking people who say the wrong thing. It's about self-improvement first and foremost. Now before I begin to give some advice to anyone of the cancel culture, I would just like to aware you of the fact that we do have a new linen shirt. Looks like this. Boom. Absolutely aesthetic. So out now on legogloria.com. Check it out. First link in the description box below. Made in Lithuania. Good stuff. Now, that being said, I have some advice to everyone who, in whatever capacity, participates in the cancel culture. First and foremost, what you have to ask yourself is, how would it feel for you when the mob, when the cancel culture mob comes after you? Because you've said something that someone misinterpreted in some way it will probably not feel particularly good for you. So think about that the next time you participate in some sort of cancelling of someone because they've said something bad. Instead, contemplate, take a deep breath, reason like an individual instead of just going with a mob and ask yourself, can I present an argument to this individual? If you say, no, this is unreasonable, yeah, it might be a good idea to either not be part of the cancelling or say to others who are doing the actual cancelling, say, you know what, is this reasonable? I don't think it is. I'm saying stop now. So that is the first part. Now, the second part is I will give you some homework here. I encourage you to read up on the French Revolution, the Reign of Terror and on Robespierre. You can just go to Wikipedia or whatever. I don't really like Wikipedia anymore because they have some... Um, less than unbiased articles in some ways, but usually they have a good, they have good articles. So read up on those things and then ask, is this what we're doing now? This cancelling, this mob mentality attacks on someone who said whatever they've said, whatever innocent joke they've made, the whole mob comes at them. And again, don't think that you are special. Don't think that just because you are part of the mob that you're immune. One day it might be you who says something, you know, that you will uh, take the heat for. So just as Robespierre, a leader of the Reign of Terror during the French Revolution, he also got targeted in the end. Some poetic justice, I don't know. So keep that in mind for everyone who participates in uh, this sort of culture. The mob will come to you eventually as well. So stop promoting this sort of culture. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you can find me, the great yet so humble Primark. And I post physique, and I distribute, I promote king culture, I promote, you know, good uplifting content. I promote that you should try to improve yourself, you should encourage others to improve themselves as well. So it's not about bullying, it's not about being a mob attacking people, it's about trying to lift each other up. It's about sometimes giving some fair criticism, saying, you know what, these guys, they promote drug use or whatever, so therefore they are not our friends. But it's ultimately about a positive force upward. It's not about pushing someone down, it's not a reign of terror where you're, where you're afraid to say the wrong thing, you're uh, afraid to read the wrong book, you're afraid to talk to the wrong person. So this is the cancel culture. We have the king culture, the self-improvement culture, where we are only trying to, you know, lift each other up and um, promote a positive worldview, a positive view of ourselves, post physique. So that means that you've actually taken on board the good message and you try to, you know, give some advice to others. And instead of, if you see someone struggling, you know, a guy who has been through some bad stuff, instead of just hammering it down on him, saying how bad he is, you know, say, okay, it was not good what you did before, but now you have a unique opportunity to just come with us to this sort of culture and, you know, improve yourself. 
So anyway, this was mainly a critique uh, of the cancel culture. Uh, no revolutionary insights in this video, I'm afraid. But I just wanted to have that said at least. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. XXO, boom!